Hey everybody, Scott here, Luke there, Hello. Paul there. Hello. Wanted to show you the project that we've been working on and that we're going to put all the videos together for uh, the time lapses and stuff. This is a wine cellar that we have built a couple of times for a really good client of mine. We started over here with this, you know, little tiny wine cellar and he ran out of room. <laughs> so we built this addition. But what we have been working on for the last two weeks is this, which is a round LED lit wine storage table and an upper rack that hangs from the ceiling with the light through the center of it. So, how many bottles we got on this whole thing, Luke? Uh, So 196 bottles in both pieces. Um, the really cool feature is this is a shadow box top and there will be a piece of glass on it, smoked glass in two weeks. And you saw what Luke just did, do it again. That was Paul. Oh, Paul. <laughs> Paul, do it again, make a better shot. <laughs> that is a catch for your corks. So, that has been the latest project, and we're very thankful to Tom and Paige for letting us build this cool stuff for them. And uh, thanks very much. And if you guys have wine and need storage, we can rack it. Hey friends, Scott here again. Going to walk you through some of this process uh, that we had to do in, in Paul's shop. And we're very thankful for Paul and all the tools that he has over there um, in his garage where we could make all this stuff. So we had to start by milling all the redwood for this table ourselves at a two by four and two by six, because it's very hard to find affordable redwood stock, um, especially redwood heart. And then we had to build jigs. Those are the white parts that you see there that hold all the rails and styles together. And then we do a glue and nail together process to get all of those little things look, look, look like ladders made um, to hold the wine. We're very fast at work. Um, then we put them together two at a time. Again, very quickly. And then we make funny faces at the camera and put them into a neat round shape. Again, glued and nailed and clamped like crazy. And then we begin to make another set of jigs for making the round pieces of the table. Uh, not just the top itself, but the pieces of trim that wrap all of the edges. And we do that by cutting the redwood down very thin um, and then re-gluing it together, which you're going to see in a second here. So those are the jigs, and you'll see what those circles are for in a moment. Here's us cutting that redwood down really, really thin, only to glue it back together again as we make it round. And this table was very much um, a joint effort by the three of us, Paul and Luke and myself. Um, Paul and Luke have great ideas. Luke is my math guy, as you saw in the first video. He was tired that night, so it took him a while to add. Um, but here we are gluing those together and wrapping them around those big jigs that we made um, to get the circle made. And you can only make half at a time. Doing a full circle is possible, but much harder um, for putting the table together in the end. And there's all of our clamps. Use somewhere between 30 to 50 clamps per side and then we clamp it together like that and join those, those two pieces together around the shadow box top. 
and we get to the job site and start wiring it up with our LED lights. Make a nice light tunnel for Luke there. And look at the glow we get. That's our top piece that mounts to the ceiling securely to hold all the weight of those wine bottles that are going to go in there. And there it is, together. And a little break for us since we have worked so quickly and so hard. And then back to it. There's our top rack going in and the whole unit kind of together. And there our client started loading it with wine. You can see those LED lights show off the glow of the bottles, which is gorgeous. And the upper. Hope you enjoyed watching this little video, and if you guys need any work from remodeling to repairs to custom work, give us a call.